Hey, Mike, what are we looking at here? We are looking at a lot of work by the uh, students. Um, we have created wooden uh, elements, making up uh, significant parts of our lander mock-up. Um, we have, of course, the uh, tanks that you have uh, acquired for us mm -hmm. to use as the actual tank elements for this for this mock-up. And we're, we're re running up against some questions about how much fidelity and accuracy we're going to be facing as a, as a desirement for the final product. So we're now choosing some materials, overlayments, uh, fastening systems that we just want y'all's opinion about how best to move forward so we meet the expectations in the end. What is the big critical concern here? Well, um, number one, I wanted, uh, this is the first time that we've actually inserted parts, held it together, the kids in, in, the, in the labs have uh, done an excellent job of creating these parts. They've done yeah, some refinements of these guys us, already. Uh, you know? So these were much rougher about two weeks ago. Right. And the team really went in there and said, I'm going to fix those things. And you can see it's a much, much better uh, layout. That, you know, of course, this is going to fasten to the bottom layer here. Okay. And the mid layer, of course, is going to be fastened somewhat like this. Okay. okay. Four each of the four positions mm -hmm. and on top of this of course will be the next layer so, okay, so these uh there's four of these correct okay so, uh, so and these and these would you consider these critical dimension pieces here they are very tightly uh, aligned okay. with the original model of the design element okay um, as far as outside dimensions and, and outside uh, mold line okay okay so it, this does represent the size, the actual size of the actual lander model as we currently are, are carrying it. And these parts are not finished either. They will be straightened up some as well. Okay. Yes. So there's some more refinement that we will do, right. uh, as Mike said. Um, but we do want to consider, all right, if they're going to be covered with some sort of mm -hmm. covering, we don't need to go too far on refining these, these elements. Okay. So this is what this guy's size-wise, this represents what we're going to end up with. And since the, since the heat is not our friend, obviously all this stuff's probably end up being covered with uh, with a foil of some sort, Correct. MLI? Correct. Correct. So everything we're looking at will more than likely be covered? Correct. Okay. You know, alternatives, sometimes we can use uh, reflective paints. Um, so that, that's a decision point and a, and a why in the road that we've got to decide uh, to uh, just cover cover everything with the foil, use some elements with paint and uh, and other elements with the foil.